Hi everyone and welcome to the channel and welcome to another episode of Learning Free Cab for Beginners. Today we're going to be looking at mirroring but mirroring over a reference. So a normal mirror we will actually mirror something like this pad and it will mirror over the sketch vertical or horizontal axis or we could use the base planes. Now you can see that we're centered here. So if I mirror this pad as standard it will come over here and cause an error. I've actually mirrored this to this side here. We're also going to be learning how to mirror, say this feature to here, where our center and mirror point is actually along this way. So let's have a look at mirroring over a reference with FreeCAD. If you like what you see and you want to donate to the channel, then you can do so via Ko-Fi or Coffee at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G zero or via PayPal at paypal.com forward slash paypal me forward slash Darren B. E. Stone. I also run a Patreon where you can get early access and additional content. And that's at patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions. Links can be found in the channel header, on the about page, or in the descriptions of these videos. So for this tutorial, we're gonna be in the part design and we're gonna be looking at the part design mirror. That start off, with a very simple body and sketch. So I'm going to create a body and create a sketch along the X, Y plane and hit OK. We're just going to look at a mirror and see how it works. I'm going to create a square in here using the rectangle tool. Hit escape to get the mouse pointer back and make these two points, selecting them and then selecting the center point and then use the symmetry. That's made those two points symmetrical to the center. I'm going to take these two lines and make them equal. Let's bring these out a bit and set some distance. A distance in here of say 50 millimeters. So we've created a simple shape. I'm going to hit close and we're going to pad this. What I'm aiming to do is create a face on top of here with a feature that we're going to mirror. And we're going to learn how that mirror works and then what happens when we want to do something like an offset mirror. I set this to five mil and hit okay. Now I'm gonna create a feature on top of here by clicking on the face, click once, don't double click, of course we select the whole pad. See if I double click, select the whole pad. So just click once on that face and create a sketch. So I'm gonna place just a circle in this top left hand section here. You notice that because we've got symmetrical, then we've got the X and the Y running this way. And we will be mirroring over this axis here. So we always need to mirror over a plane or an axis of a sketch. I'm gonna hit escape. I'm not gonna constrain this, but I'm gonna add some diameter. So I'm gonna add some diameter in here of 10 mil. So when we go for a mirror, well, let's first create, let's say a pocket with this around about three millimeters in depth and hit okay. So we've got that there. The first thing I'm going to do is come up to the view and toggle the axis cross because this gives us an idea of where the center is. Now when we mirror, we have to mirror over the center of the plane or the sketch. And that's when we start getting problems when we're using, say, part of the sketch, but in another section, let's say we was over here and created a circle here. And I just wanted to mirror it, say, to here. Let's have a look at the mirror first. So we've got our pocket and we come over to the model, click on the pocket, the feature that we want to mirror and use the mirror. The mirrored on the toolbar or come up to part design. It's a pattern, so apply a pattern and mirrored. And you can see that we're mirroring over this plane here, this YZ plane. Well, saying that, we're actually mirroring over the sketch, so the vertical sketch axis. That runs this way, and the horizontal one runs this way. Remember, a sketch is a 2D object, so we only have two axes. And if we change this to a different axis, let's go for the YZ plane, so base YZ we get the same. And if we change this to base 
XF plane. You see the same there. If we change this to the XY plane, then nothing's happened. Let's change this back to the vertical sketch axis. So we've got that there. And you can see with the toggle axis cross and we've got the axis here, you can see how it's been mirrored over there. So for the second demonstration, we're going to create something different. In the part design, we'll create a body, create a sketch again on the XY plane and hit OK. I'm going to be using the polyline, so this one here. And we'll create an L shaped sketch in here. Something like, well, something like this. And we'll come up and connect up like so. We've got the auto constraints in, so we're getting these vertical and horizontal constraints already added. Let's give it some distance, something like this, and make sure that these are all equal. And this one here has a height of about 50 millimeters. So we've got this shape. And I'm not worried about these lines here because we're going to be using a reference to allow us to create, say, a reference across here to mirror across this part or a reference across here to mirror from this point to this point. So it doesn't matter where this sits because we don't need these. Let's just put it down here somewhere and hit close. So we've got this here. Let's pad that with a five millimeter pad and select the top face and create a sketch upon it. So you may have center geometry around here, but you may have a feature that's over this side that you want to create mirrors so across this here. So let's create our first circle. So this circle is going to be mirrored. And this is going to create a pad or a pocket. Let's go for a pad of around about three millimeters. So we've got that. If I try to mirror that using the view toggle axis cross, well, what's going to happen? It's going to mirror from here across the axis to over this side. Or if we select the sketch axis, double click that sketch, it's going to do the same. So our sketch axis, the vertical and the horizontal, it's going to go across over to this side and cause us an issue. And we can see that by selecting the pad. Let's find that. Selecting the pad and using the mirror, and we can see it's mirrored over here. Even if we go along the YZ plane, then it's not going to work. Let's cancel that. So we need to mirror it over something. We can't mirror it over the planes because if we do that, well, it will sit on this side, so you can see it's mirrored over there. So we need a reference to mirror this over. And we can use the datum plane, which sits here. Datum, datum, to whatever you want to call it, this one here. To use it, there's two ways. We can either pre-select the features on this item, or we can just click on the plane itself. Also available from part design, create datum, create a datum plane. That's been added to the screen and it's got no reference because nothing's selected. So to actually get it going across here, I need to select some kind of reference. Now these are either edges, vertices, or faces. So for instance, I can take this edge. You can see that this has changed to line one and we've got selecting now in the next box and then select this edge, and that's placed it across those edges. And we can change the connection. The inertia two, three, plane by three points, we can rotate, etc., etc. But this is not working for me. It's not placing it as the center. If I chose a vertex, then we can do that. So I'm gonna come in and delete the top one. Reference two will be moved upwards because reference one is no longer used. Let's delete that one as well. So we've got no references in here. Reference one button, must click on that, make sure it's saying selecting. 
zoom right in and select the vertex and come out. Let's come over to this side now. We can see reference to. Make sure that's saying selecting. Zoom right in and select the vertex. If you select an edge or a face, then don't worry, just come in, delete it out. Make sure it says select again and select that one. Now you can see that plane sits in the middle. Let's hit OK. So we've got our plane. What do we do now? Well, it's the same. Select the pad, part design, apply a pattern, mirrored. Now, instead of mirroring it across the plane here, any of these, we need to select the reference. So select reference and we select the datum plane. And we get that going across these two here. So we have that going across here. And if I hit OK, you can see it sitting at the right point. This can be changed. So for instance, I've mirrored across over to this side. Let's see if we can get it over to this side. So to do that, we double click the datum plane. And I didn't go into these attachment modes. So we can see the attachment mode is set to inertia 2 free. And there's a number of others in here. FreeCAD will pick the most common one that you would want, but you can change it within here. Also, we've got attachment offsets and rotations as well. So that's changed this. So let's take away this one. Let's delete that. And also delete this one as well. And reference one, let's select that and select this point in here. If you get the hand, just click off into the blank space. Make sure that's saying select in. Zoom right in to make it easier on yourself and select the vertex. Reference two, click that and come in and select the other vertex. So this one in here. So we've got both vertices selected. Inertia two free. It's not working there. So let's try the other ones. And well, you can see, well, it's not really working. So if we get to this stage, it's not really working and it's not selecting the right point, then we can use some rotation. And I'm going to flip this around the Y this way here so we can rotate this like so and get this positioned to where we want. So 90 degrees this way. So we've got that intersecting these two points. When you're happy, hit OK. It looks like it hasn't worked, but we can see a tick by the datum plane. Go up to edit and hit refresh. And that's mirrored across that plane onto the other side. Let's take a look at another example where we're using a model that's over two planes. So going this way and up. So let's have a look at another example. Something a bit more complex. With a new body in the part design, let's create a new sketch. And this time I'm going to go upon a different plane. And let's choose the XZ plane. I'm looking to create with the polyline a L shaped geometry in here. So we're just creating this L shaped geometry. And you notice where I'm placing it, I'm placing it across these axes. Let's hit escape and now get the mouse pointer back. I'm going to place a horizontal constraint grains here and make these two and this axis here symmetrical and the same for these two and this axis. Make those symmetrical, symmetry constraint. Make these two equal like so and we'll make these two equal as well. So we've got this L shape. We'll just put it out a little and add some dimensions. So this length, just gonna add one at 50 millimeters. So we've got that there. Pull this in. So we've got this L shape. Let's close that. And what I'm going to do is 
and zoom out a little. Take the sketch and we'll pad it by 60 mil. So we have this here. Now I'm going to add a sketch on here, new sketch. So we're on that face now, and we'll add a feature on here. So I want to mirror this feature, this slot, once I've taken that and created, let's say a pad on there by two mil. I want to mirror this same feature on this side. So what do I do? Because if I mirror across this center line, it's not going to take effect. It's going to sit out here. I'll take that pad and we use the mirrored. You can see it's gone red and one transformed shape does not intersect the support. So that's not going to work. Well, this time we're going to use the datum plane in a slightly different way. We're going to pre-select this edge, come into the inside and control select this edge here. I'll select the face, so to keep the control down, select it again, and then select this edge. And unclick that face and try to get the right one. Let's zoom in, make our life easier. So we're on this edge here. So we've selected both those edges. If you have problems selecting them, then we can actually increase the pad edge size. So come into the body, look at the view, and we've got draw and style, line color. And what we should be able to do to get the line width, and let's bring this up to say four, that's better. Now we should be able to select these easier. And that's that this edge, that's made that a lot easier. And come in, control select this edge here. So those two are selected. Come up to the top and create a datum plane. That has intersected through those two edges, which is perfect. You can see we've got edge two, edge 17. Yeah, okay. Now what happens when I mirror this across this datum plane? It's gonna mirror this feature on this side. So that's select the feature, pad, use the mirrored. See it's over here at the moment, come up to the plane, drop this down, select reference, and then come up and click on that datum plane. And we've mirrored across this edge here, and the feature is now on this side. So that's an introduction of how to use a datum plane with the mirror when you're using it for a reference. Very powerful, very practical, and I hope that's helped with your learning going forward with FreeCAD. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video. If you like what you see and you want to donate to the channel, then you can do so via Ko-Fi or Coffee at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G zero, or via PayPal at paypal.com forward slash PayPal me forward slash Darren B. E. Stone. I also run a Patreon where you can get early access and additional content. And that's at patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions. Links can be found in the channel header on the about page or in the descriptions of these videos. I thank everybody that's donated so far. It really helps to keep the lights on so I can produce more content and also expand the channel. Thank you for liking, commenting and subscribing to these videos. And I hope to see you again in the next one.